today is the day. Do you hear me? Yvette Sojourner here. Thank you for showing up. If you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow. Listen, that is the only way, the only way. This is gonna be shared across the YouTube verse and the interwebs. Do you hear me? So please, please like, subscribe, follow, share. Yes. All right, today's today. Today is the day. Do you hear me? It's today. It's today, as promised. I know I wanted to get the ready to wear and the unboxing of the small wallet, the card holder out of the way. And now that is done, here we are, okay? First, before I even unbox, let me go ahead and set everything up. I wanted to get Hubs a gift for his promotion and I set out to do that. So I found some items, reached out to my essay here in the US and she responded immediately. And we went back and forth exchanging messages. Ultimately, she wasn't able to get the one that I wanted. So we found something in store. This was not expected. So I am going to cut to the day that we actually went down and yeah check this out <laughs> all right we're on our way and we'll see what happens i'm so excited we've made it finally three hours later i'm not complaining because typically three hours is really good one way some people don't have an hermes even close to them so i'm not complaining but mm, yeah we're here Okay guys, I wanted to hop on here real quick. I'm about to try on a piece, but I wanted to let you know that I have just been told that there's a surprise for me and I am so freaking excited. Can you hear me? I am so excited to see what is going to be revealed today. Here's the piece I'm trying on. I can't wait, I don't know what it is. Okay, okay. I didn't even expect this. I thought we were just going down to pick up Hub's gift, but then also the items that I had selected as well. I was just baffled at the fact that she had something to offer me, and I was baffled at the fact that it was specifically this item. Let's get into this unboxing. Look at this. <laughs> okay. As I said, I was not expecting this. I, yeah, I thought that when she said she had something for me, it may be a wallet or something of the sort, uh, but no. I've already removed the plastic from the hardware because I knew I was gonna keep it. Now, I have to be honest. When I saw this bag, at first I thought, wait, what? Nah. And I know, I told you, my first response is always no. The reason I was thinking no is it's so tiny. Look how small this is. Look how small this is in comparison to my Birkin 30. This is a Birkin 25. 
I have not seen one in person. So when I requested a Bergen 25, I just assumed it would be slightly smaller. So let's go ahead and finish taking the things off. Now, I had her remove this piece for me in the store. They typically don't do that, but it was so tiny. I was afraid and she was afraid that we would break it. So I figured just do it there just in case. But in the meantime, I will remove these pieces with you all so that you can see. Okay, so the things people don't tell you about Hermes bags is removing the plastic is not always the easiest. It, it can be very complicating. Now, the reason this was a no for me at first was because it's canvas. I did not even consider getting a bag that was canvas of any sort. I just, in my mind, I was set on leathers because for me, I feel they're more user friendly. So I didn't even consider it. And I didn't even think about, even though I know Hermes has wicker bags and so on and so forth, I just did not put it together. So when I looked at it, I was like, uh, no. And then I stepped back and I just was like, let me, let me just look at it a little more. So let me show you the inside. And of course, you have the crochet and the lock and key, which I will take the plastic off of this as well now I don't put these on my bag I like to stow them so that's what I will do with, with this back to why I said no at first I was feeling it's so tiny I was so afraid to touch it so as I said I asked her requested that she remove the uh, plastic protection from the hardware at least this piece and she did unlike my Birkin I can get it on my wrist but since I stack so much I will be putting it on this wrist I know that it's not the easiest to wear this way but it is still an option I will not be carrying this of course every day because I discovered that it is a limited edition and only so many stores have it in stock so based on my essay this was a piece that had just come in and she thought of me when she saw it because she knows my vibe is my vibe my style my aesthetic is um retro now back to the story as to why i said no it looked so tiny it was canvas i was just very skeptical but if you look at the canvas, it is very, very beautiful. It is nice, it is elegant. This is going to be more so an event style bag for me for special occasions, basically. Now, while I was there, now I have two Birkins. This, as I didn't say, this is a Birkin and it's in a size 25. I'm going to give you more details now as far as other things that I've learned. Ultimately, it's called a, I want to say quadro or quadril um, canvas in swift leather. So the corners, if you in the, the top, the corners are in swift and so is the pieces that are of course leather and it's in palladium which you all know I love palladium I just do it's just my thing and the color is Blanc Nior and Ecre so it's a very like a cream and white tone to it it's very three-dimensional as far as if you just look at the canvas itself it kind of just jumps out at you 
while we're in store, the essay herself was like, this is very limited edition, da da da. So I wanted to look something up. So I started to look it up and then she said, oh, are you looking up the bag? We, I can and she was like, well, tell me what you find. So we found a similar one. It was in Goldsmith instead of New York. I was only able to find two of them online she was very interested in seeing it as well as far as the details and based on what we found yes it is a limited edition piece from what my essay told me this style typically comes in kelly so this is the first that i'm aware of and that she's aware of of it coming in Birkin style. So that's very exciting that I was able to attain a limited edition piece. So I will definitely be taking care of it. I won't say I'll baby it, but I will be taking care of this one because it is so small. It's so tiny. I don't know what I thought when I was thinking of getting a 25. I just wanted something a little lighter than the 30 and this is, is it. I still would like another 25 in an all leather i do not baby my bags this one i will try to baby but we'll see ultimately in the end how that turns out i don't i don't buy my bags as set on a shelf i just don't i love to use my bags and another thing is it is going to go perfectly with this wallet I am so excited. Listen, I have an appointment this week and I am going to carry this bag with this wallet this week when I go for my mentor appointment because I get to catch up with her this week. So I'm excited that I finally did the unboxing so I can finally carry this bag. Listen, I have been so excited about unboxing this for you all and I hope you appreciate it please let me know your thoughts let me say one last thing i was still kind of questioning my judgment when i got it in store hubs like i said he was like yes this is you the essay there yes this is you and so i was like let me reach out to the essay in france because she actually like gets me she gets me completely and she responded and was like oh my, wait let me share with you what she said she said heart i love it cat face with heart eyes you should keep it believe me retro so at that point i was like okay i have to keep this rag because she gets me it's, and it's like okay 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 yes it is what i'm wanting and looking for and it fits me and that's the biggest the biggest concern i had was does it fit my aesthetic I am not one to say yes to everything and that's something else I want to emphasize if you are new and just starting out on your own journey you do not have to say yes to everything that's being offered to you because there are things that I'm just like no thank you and I know I say no at first because it's just my natural response to everything but um yeah if you say yes to everything then the belief is that you're just buying things to buy things sometimes right I don't know but if you are more discerning when it comes to what's being offered to you then the likelihood of the essay determining and figuring out your style your aesthetic and so on and so forth is much smoother so keep that in mind but yes thank you for sharing this moment with me and i deeply appreciate it i have to shout someone out because uh, it is what i do joy may hopefully i am even pronouncing your name right joy you know who you are listen it was not a mini kelly i don't even think i would accept a mini kelly i, I don't think that's in my future <laughs> I don't think that's it. I don't think that a mini Kelly is in my future because it's not something I want. But, you know, I did say it was something small and this is smaller. I know they have, well, I've heard they've had, they have Birkins that are a size 20. I don't even know if that would be my future, but we shall see. I have to see the bags first. And that's the one thing that I'm kind of at a disadvantage when it comes to it because I haven't seen enough Birkins in person to know what size I actually love of a door and one right now I just know I want something smaller than a 30 because I have a 30 but that doesn't mean in the future I won't get another 30 I just wouldn't go any bigger than that for me personally 
As I said, thank you so much for joining me and until next time.